playing in depth the original game. We're going to do a crossbow run. I'm going to talk about it. Okay, first of all, if you play in depth Unchained, we need to talk about the game because if you're going to play this and you have an Intel Core series processor, i9 or above, the game may not launch. You may already have the game and you may have discovered it doesn't launch. But if you have an AMD chipset, the game will launch. That has to do with certain uh, software issues between the drivers for the Intel chipset and the game, what the game utilizes to launch itself. You can find those in some uh, Reddit post on how to fix that. But what I really want to talk about is rapid fire and maneuverability in the old game using virtual desktop because if you use Oculus Link cable or Oculus Air Link you're not going to be able most likely you're not going to be able to fast pull arrows and move around like you really want to especially if you're an in-depth unchained player uh, I'm not really sure why that is uh, it's probably the algorithm and the software that governs uh, Air Link because it's strictly with Air Link um, let me show you what I'm talking about so I'm knocking off these arrows like pretty quickly. I mean that's that's like unchained level. Most people, if you play with the crossbow, you can really uh, knock these arrows out pretty quick on the crossbow. If you're playing with link, cable, air link doesn't matter. There's no difference. You're going to fire an arrow, and your hand is not going to grab the string again for about a second, second and a half. That's that's just how it is. I don't know why. My best guess is because this game was tooled for outside in tracked headsets and this is inside out tracked. The uh, devs have to, uh, abandoned this game so there's no updates coming there's nothing to look forward to in that respect but the graphics are substantially better um, I'm hoping that somebody will pick this game up especially with the success of Unchained and uh, port this thing over to PSVR 2 or send us some updates you know uh, even if they don't expand the levels, just getting everything to function properly on inside out tracked headsets so it at least functions with some parity on uh, of, with in depth on chain. So that's what I was going to talk about at the beginning of the game before I start because you're going to see me pulling, knocking arrows off, and you may not be able to do that. Uh, those are the reasons why. Um, it's basically you need to have virtual desktop, an AMD chipset to launch the game, not an Intel Core system. And, um, you definitely don't, can't use link. The link cable, it just ain't going to cut it. Buzz on down here. Also, I'd like to mention, if you uh, are used to In-Death Unchained, if you use their shard a lot, I'm, I'm a big time user of the shard in uh, Unchained. In this game, it almost functions like the teleport arrow in the, in the sense that you throw it and it takes you to where you're going. It has a long distance movement to it, where in Unchained it's more of a snap, it just like this in Unchained. Don't rely on that to get out of the way of things. It's not anywhere as good as uh, Unchained. I can use that in Unchained to get away from anybody. I would not rely on it in this game. I rely on the teleport arrow only. That's another thing to look at. If you're going to jump in and play this game. Okay, so this typical setup. I can just take these guys out from up here. The AI on this game is a mixed bag. Uh, I say that because sometimes it's hyper aggressive. And it does stuff you wouldn't even see in Unchained at high levels. And then other times it does stupid stuff like this where I just kill people, kill minions and monks, and they don't do anything. 
Um, but you will see these guys teleport on top of these steeples up here, which you just don't really see that much in Unchained, but they do it in this game. Uh, I'm not going for any kind of points here. I'm just having fun with it right now. My uh, PC's been in the shop for three months. Basically, it's a water-cooled PC, and uh, the water pump failed. Cooling system corroded out. Replaced it with an AIO. And got off the water-cooling bandwagon. And it's, it's working great. Just testing it out, really, today. Let me get this. Uh... Also, collecting arrows, you know, you can't pull them from across the room. There's no. Everything has to be pulled right up on it. So if you have an arrow drop across the room, you can't grab it. You got to teleport there next to it and then uh, reach out and grab it and apply it manually. So, just the ups and downs. But what this game is, and what it could be, is two different things. 